Alright, so now on this thing, we're going to start small projects. Let's try the small projects first, right? Um, I don't want to get it. This thing is entirely too hot to be screwing with exhaust. So that uh, screamer pipe is going to probably have to wait till next weekend. Um, well, I can always wake up early in the morning where it's ice cold and do my thing, you know. Uh, it's still a little warm over here, but the advantage of it being warm over in this area is that it's warm to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? As long as you don't touch that and get burned, you're okay. Uh, sorry. So, here is the reservoir tank. It is called a coolant return system. We're not going to be using it for that. Because I have this here that's doing that already which I still hate the way that that's mounted but that's the way you mount them I want to come up with a different way of mounting that like I had toyed around with slotting it here and on the back side and slotting it here and it's making like a like a, a strap to come around it and hold it that's what I'm probably gonna end up doing with this but this tank we are gonna mount it right here we're gonna try to at least mount it right in this area here and by doing that we're getting rid of this computer because this computer does absolutely nothing um, that's the computer that's running it so. so we're gonna take this computer out and then we're gonna try and mount this here and then I have my I think this is my I'm gonna test it but I think this is my pump trigger wires which I have this universal washer pump here from AC Delco um, that I found actually believe it or not I found it in the trash at work so, score for me. Um, and then we're going to go from there. Well, that, this should be pretty straightforward. Mount that. Hose off the bottom to the pump. Off the pump. To here. And then wire in the wires right here for the pump. And, uh, and there you go. So, let me get the right tools. and a 10 millimeter to start and we get that computer out of there so I'm gonna pause you guys and get all that ready okay. we're after the hot one first right wherever that is I don't even know where it's located um oh I know where it is is it even on there yeah. All right, so we're gonna remove this one, this, like that. See what I'm saying? It's like shitty way of mounting it. So we'll just put that there for now. And that out of my way. computer and I have something in store for this computer and that's another surprise that you guys have no idea about yet <laughs> I got all I'm loaded with surprises <laughs> so let's get this harness over here out of sight out of mind right now let's open up this See we got to work with. Oh, of course, the bu fucking box opens up. I, just, I hate that stuff. I absolutely hate it. 
most sharp, dangerous crap on the face of the plant is clear plastic. I got something sharper to deal with this shit right here. Oh, like that. Get this stuff in that fucking hole. Oh. She's history. This shit is like a razor blade sharp. I, th I want to say I, re I read somewhere that some children were getting hurt opening their toys with it. So there was a big stink about stuff to get rid of it. Which I'm for that 100%. Because that stuff is made by the devil himself. Alright, so here's our bottom feed. And the hose looks a little large, so I might have to grind this down. But... Who cares? I'll even cut the fucking thing if I have to. Well, then we can mount it like right here. I'm liking that. Mount it right here. Bend these tabs. these tabs, these wire tabs in, and that'll sit flat like that. It would be ideal right here. Definitely would be freaking ideal right there. You know? I don't know if that will melt. It's just as close either way. So, I don't fucking think it matters. That's gonna need a plug. But, you know, self tapper there, self tapper right there, and we're done. I like that. But then, what do I do with that? Alright, so if I do that, where can I put this? Ooh, see the steam? I guess this can go right here. You know what I mean? That wouldn't bother me at all. Um, and if need be, I could always put a piece of sheet steel, like, like build a, uh, a heat shield right here for this, out of sheet metal, you know, I could actually bolt right here, and come over, and we could put a nut cert in over here, I like that idea. I'm liking where this is going, so that's where those are going. You guys agree? Can you guys see, see what the fuck I'm doing? Kinda. Let's, that's what I'm talking about. It's a little close to this exhaust, but I think it's going to be alright. I think it's going to be alright. So, let's, let's move this. that like that I say I drill put a nut cert right here and a nut cert right here move this out of my way so that's getting relocated. So we'll put a nut cert here and a nut cert here. So let's get a marker.
This tank just pulls right out of that thing, which is kind of cool. I can't believe I'm actually saying that about a cheap piece of crap I just bought. For whatever. Money. Okay, we're back. Kind of. <laughs> All right, so we're going to zip a couple holes here. I'm going to put this on drill. Let's see what happens. Whoa, Jesus. This thing was fast. See that? Hope this one isn't too big. I don't think there's any way to get in there to put a nut on. There isn't. So, Jesus, Louise, that went fast. Um, all right. I'm sure we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll figure something out. I'll use eight millimeter bolts if I have to. Um, all right. So I'm gonna pull out my nut cert kit here, which is awesome in itself. Okay. So. These are nut certs. I don't know if you, there's a few different styles and I'm sure that you have seen me use this before if you've been watching. I attempted to use these to do the throttle cable bracket on the top of the intake, but they grab in a different fashion. So I could not use them. So I just glued them in instead of, uh, instead of using the crimper or the tool to collapse them. But there's all kinds. This is a steel one. This is a steel one, but it's very thin. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the difference. See how thin the top is? Not thick. All right. And then you have these style. Which are, and they have a bigger washer head. Um, but hopefully that first hole isn't too damn big. Damn it. That thing went crazy. Well, I don't think it is. Let's see. It looks perfect. Okay, so let's try this. And that looks perfect. Okay, so that one will work there. The other one will work in the other spot. Let's, uh, let's see what one of those. Let's see if I can use two matching ones. Okay, we can't, oh, we can, but I just need to give it a little love. It's got a burr. Let's see if that'll go in there now. too much there we go mint all right so now hopefully I get the tool in here um I think I can if I just get this hood to go a little bit more up and down can you say see what I'm doing okay let's this in here. Oh. Like here. Oh, underneath me. Whoa. Right here. Yeah, perfect. Think that'll be okay. Let me see how straight that is so it don't come down and guillotine me. <laughs> Alright. So get rid of this prop rod. Oh, now, here's our tool. The tool you use with it. You basically thread the nut cert on here with it open. And as you go like this, it collapses it and crimps it inside the part that you put it. 
So let's see if I can dig this one back out. Okay. You thread it onto the tool. Like so. Okay. Put it in like that. And you collapse it. And then you unthread the tool. Like that. Instant threads. So you put a six millimeter by 1.0 volt in to whatever you're trying to hold. Do the second one. If I can get in there, kind of like, like this. And that's rad. Nice. Okay. Put that up there. Uh, that didn't collapse too good. I don't think it's spinning. We'll see. A little loose fit, but because that first freaking hole is too big, a little bit too big. Okay. So. No, we don't want that style. We want this style. That's going to work perfect. Using a body bolt. Okay, so we grab this, grab our hose out of there. jug that was the easy part mounting it um this is gonna go over here somewhere i think um Now this just comes right out of there like that. Look at that, huh? All right. That's that part mounted. Now we got our wire in here. I'm going to stuff this back here where it's out of sight, out of mind. Hell yeah. Um, here's our power wires. Now we just have to make sure that this does operate the pump. Okay, so now we're going to test the circuit and make sure that that is the washer pump part of the circuit. I make these at work all the time. They are, uh, say if I'm testing a circuit and I'll go get the whatever terminals are, that are supposed to be in the connector that I'm going to test and I'll make my own test leads. If you can see, like I'll solder the pin and then I got these alligator clips, like 20 of them for $1.99. So I make all these test terminals leads because the worst thing you can do is stick the wrong size one of these in a connector and stretch the female part of it and then you're screwed. Then you have to change the female part. So there's that part. Okay, so these just push right in. No sweat. We're not going to be using this connector anyway, but we have to test the circuit somehow. Now, another thing is... <clears throat> When you're testing a circuit, a lot of times you're in the car 
and you naturally you would use a test light but you can't be in two places at once so you can't you know what I mean to see the test light light up a lot of times you're in the car with a scanner triggering something on and you have to have two people basically is what I'm trying to get at so what I did is I took an old car horn and I put alligator clips on it okay so now what you could do is stick the horn anywhere you want you take your test leads and hook it up to it like this and like this and now if I need to test something I can be if that horn sounds and I know I have power there so let me go over here and we'll test this theory out Okay, so that is our washer circuit. out we don't no longer need this because we know that is the right connector All right. so now I am going to pause you guys so I can get everything laid out to how it's gonna work get this all out and plugged in and whatever so I am going to pause you guys okay so we, we're gonna have to this is pretty big here and this is the size Hose. Let me show you. That is pretty big, and this is the size hose it needs to be. It's, see the size difference? So what we're gonna use here is a universal step-down dealy thing, where you can go from this size and it's a you know what I mean, whatever size you just cut whatever you don't need off. So. <clears throat> So we're going to cut because this, let me uh, get some cutters here. Um, let me pause you guys. I got to, oh no, I got some right here. We're going to cut this part down. The problem is when you cut it, it makes it, you guys can't really see. It makes it extremely small. So you have to you have to make it bigger. I'm gonna use a drill and just kinda go in it. Like that. And that makes it large. You can't see shit. Um makes it large so anyway now we need to go to this next step here the bigger one so we're gonna cut it we're gonna cut it here wow that one just came right apart nice made it nice and big okay Now we're gonna go on here with this. We need some carburetor cleaner. We only need about I don't know, maybe two, three inches of the hose, the big hose, and stuff. Okay. So. Grab some carburetor cleaner or whatever, brake clean, whatever. Carburetor cleaner works the best. Um, I don't see any. We'll try brake clean. 
Okay, so you grab some brake clean, you spray some brake clean in the hose, in the hose, like, like that. And then, usually, you can just push them right on. Pause you for a minute. Okay, so I just slipped it in here. I got my adapter hose in there. Now, I don't know. here's our pump. Now our pump, I think needs to be mounted. I don't, know. I, don't know how, I don't think it needs to be mounted any particular way. I just want to see something here. How much room do I have? Let me, uh, let me set up this bracket here. Alright. That bracket's tight. this fucking thing. Alright. So yeah, that could get mounted right down there. That's out of my out of my way. So left this out of here again. Yeah, we could just screw that down there anywhere. Alright, so here's our wires. I just don't know which way out and in is and all that rigmarole. So let me read the directions here. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so we got our uh, reservoir mounted. I mounted the pump down here. We got our wires. I'm going to tie in now. Uh, white is positive, black is negative. And I'm assuming that red is positive and black is negative on the connector here. So this stuff really isn't all that important here. It's not uh, rocket science we're doing here. Um, so regular butt connectors will be fine. Not like we have to crimp and solder and do all that stuff. It's just a fucking washer pump, you know? So I'm thinking, okay. So we got our reservoir hooked to our pump. You guys can't see shit, I know. Let me come over here. I'll bring you guys over here. I just don't like bumping this thing. Sorry, folks. Me. Yeah. Now you can see what I'm doing. So we got a reservoir mounted. On the bottom reservoir into the pump. Now we got to come out of the pump to here. We got our wires tied in. Okay, so... Okay, so we got that little adapter in there. Now, 
Give me this. That's tight. This will drop in here. Like something like that. Push that down. Put these up. And that's how that goes. This is just our overflow. Which is kind of making me nervous because it is a little close to the turbocharger, but we'll see how hot it gets. The worst thing that happens is it melts and leaks, right? And then I have to get a, another one. But that's all that in a bag of chips. So the washer pump is installed. Washer reservoir and pump is installed. So now, let's take our cap. I need to put a, a plug over here. So let me get one of those. I'm trying not to bump you guys. Okay, I got some vacuum caps here. Okay, put a vacuum cap on the back side here. There we go. Now I just gotta find some washer fluid. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pause you guys while I dig that out. I know I have some here, I just gotta find it. I'm pretty sure it's in a five gallon pail. So a uh, five gallon jug, so I'm gonna pause you guys. Okay, so reservoir is all installed, wired, plumbed. Now we just gotta test it. So, um, I don't think it's a good idea for me to stand there. Cause you never know. That's All right, she works. But that left squirt, right squirter, is terrible. I don't know what's going on with that squirter. I don't know what's going on with that. I might have to get a new one for that, this side. Okay, let's try that. All right. Let's see if that got any better. did get a little better, but I think I need a new squirter for over here. She could be plugged or something. So that's the problem. I have to get a new squirter for that side. But this side, the side that counts works good. Really good. So there you go. One of the little nagging things fixed. All right, I'm going to pause you guys. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to end it because the Super Bowl is on. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And be on the lookout for some videos this week because I got some good stuff. Good stuff. Hopefully everything will get in, come in, get shipped in, and we'll have some more good uh, installation uh, content. So have a good one, folks.